once you have a, the law of the land which says that abortion is, is okay and in almost all circumstances, well, that's going to affect the culture. It's going to affect the, the type of decisions that uh, people make. And since Roe v. Wade, uh, the nation itself has become more polarized on that particular issue. And uh, if the um, political situation has, has become polarized, the same thing has happened within the church. I think we have a sufficiently convincing argument that with time, reasonable men and women will be with us. It's going to take time and lots of changes and lots of tears, but I think it will change. And we've seen that in some of the polls that have been developing over the last few years, that there is more agreement about the reasons uh, against abortion than there were before. The right to life, mere life, is so basic and, and the numbers are so large that, um, that that issue moves into the forefront. It ought to move into the forefront of anyone's um, voting behavior. Uh, given, the, given the polarization um, and uh, the clarity now with which people see the issues, um, someone who's really serious about their faith is going to um, vote in certain ways. Someone who understands the issues and understands the way uh, American society is moving, the politics, et cetera, et cetera, and can, can see through some of the spin that that's comes through uh, various uh, media, um, they're, they're going to um, simply be much more clear about, about uh, these issues and, and, and it's going to have an effect on not only on their voting, but also on their, on their personal lives. <laughs>